Hello Scorpio. This is your reading for March 30th through April 1st. This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. What messages do we have for my Scorpios in love for March 30th through April 1st? Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Please show me. The moon. Hmm. A lot of deep feelings I feel for someone here. For sure. A lot that you're not speaking of though. As well. Let's see what else we have here. Ten of Pentacles. You re really, really see a future with someone. Mm hmm You see the potential in this relationship. In a relationship. I don't get that you are talking about it though. You just feel it. Okay. Two of Cups there. Most definitely. You, you see that everything is there to make a very long lasting relationship. The feelings are there. The time is being spent. Um, the emotions are there. It's like everything is in its right place is what I'm feeling for you guys. Then we have Death. Which is kind of out of place here. Hmm. Are some of you wanting to end a relationship? This is your card here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let me pull some more cards here. Let's see. What is ending here? We're transforming. You know, maybe the fact that you guys probably feel that it's time to actually open up and let the other person know how you feel. Huh, let's see. It's moon. Yeah, definitely want to speak with that page of source energy there. Definitely want to speak about what it is that you really want. Hmm. You want something committed. You want something traditional. And you want to talk about it here. You're wanting to talk about it. There's an ending here. As a matter of fact, there's two endings here with the world and death falling under the Two of Cups. Maybe you guys don't want anything traditional here. Maybe this is getting getting to be too much for you. The feelings are too overwhelming. Hmm. Something's overwhelming for you guys here. With this Nine of Wands, something's overwhelming. This is also an ending. Something's getting to be too much. Some of you guys are not wanting any anything traditional. It's like you're wanting to either start over or you're wanting to explore. But there's something that you're wanting to end here. Let me pull some clarifiers because this has got me stumped. Let's see. Let's clarify this world energy. Please show me more about the world. Please show me more about the world. Please show me more about the world. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to to date around. Like you don't want to be held down. Or somebody doesn't want to be held down. With this world energy. 
Some of you are actually wanting to end a marriage. Um, wanting to end a marriage. You know, still having feelings for this person, but feeling very tired. Huh. Hang on, guys. Hmm. Let me show you more about the Two of Cups. fact of the matter is we have the ace of swords here and the nine of wands i can't even pick these freaking cards up but um and they came in reverse so it's like somebody is not telling the truth about you know wanting this to be over and even in the upright, it's like somebody's wanting to tell somebody that they're tired. I'm tired. I can't. I can't. Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus. Aquarius. Hmm. Let me see what energy is coming in for you guys. Let me, you know, let me see what this death is about. That one to flip. Let me see what that is. These cards are Knight of Chalices. One to date. Wanting something to be over with. You know, still caring for somebody, but being feeling very tired. Um, wanting to move on. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see what this either you or the other person, Virgo energy, is here as well. If I didn't say that, um, Cancer Pisces energy. What energy is coming towards Scorpio? What energy is coming towards Scorpio? I know that turned pretty quickly, didn't it? Because it looked like somebody was just really having some really deep feelings that they weren't speaking about regarding a, you know, very committed relationship. But then when death showed up, it's like somebody wants this to be over. Somebody's tired. What energy is coming in for Scorpio? The chariot wanting to move on. Um, feeling like there is something or someone else out there um, that's going to make you happy. Cancer energy there. Looking for that partner. Four of Cups. Yeah. Looking for that partner, that particular person. Um, Feeling kind of closed off though. You know what I'm getting is that you know you guys just want to be emotionally stable. You know, you don't want to be up and down. You don't want to be worried. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want to um, you know involve yourself in situations that you know have you feeling unstable, not grounded. On an emotional roller coaster, you know. What else do we have for Scorpio? Ace of Cups, starting over, self love. Self love. Yeah, you're ready to see a change. You're ready to see a change. Some of you guys are ready to move, um, um, but mostly you want to communicate that. You want to see a change in this situation. You want to heal from um, this situation. Again, I'm getting that you guys are really tired. You're really tired. And um, there's something that you want to be over. You want it to be over. Okay? Wanting to move on. 
Alright guys, so that is what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you guys soon.